It's another episode of Faster Than Light, where the last time we did our first run with the Zoltan Cruiser B, made it to Sector 6, just ran into some bad luck. I really felt like I had something going there. Maybe I should have sold that hull laser too that I had gotten the other one and gotten cloaking that could have saved me from missile damage, which really did me in. But this time we're going to go with the other ship that I recently unlocked which is the NGB. Now what you need to know about the NGB is that you get one crew member and a bunch of drones and a thing that boosts drone movement. Otherwise it's heavy island and a heavy laser. I don't really like the heavy laser. I prefer multi-shot lasers. But heavy ion is a little slow, but it does some work. So we're going to actually go back to renaming some ships here. We'll call this Robo Boogie. Because we're actually... One of the top strategies I've seen people say for the NGB is just to sell this, 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 and this at the first store and give yourself some extra scrap. That's one way to play it, but that's not how we're playing this one today. We are going to go legit, I guess. And by legit, I guess what I really mean is we are venting our entire ship except for the med bay. Why? Because robots do not actually need air. They can just go around and do whatever. Now that anti-personnel guys for intruders, but if you notice, when I depower our robo buddies here, they just turn their lights blink off. But you can actually keep them around. So that's where I when I start with four drones. And I probably will try and replace a system repair drone or something else if I can. If I can even make it anywhere. But we're gonna be going with some flashing O2 warnings for a long time. That's my luck. We start with a pike beam. So right off the bat we get something that'll help us immediately in sector one. It's fantastic. And that means that the moment I get 35 scrap, we'll actually be able to kill things. Because this one, the heavy laser, it does two damage, but it takes a while. The heavy ion, it does two ion damage, but it takes a while. Okay, attack. So we're just going to auto fire this for now. I guess the other thing I want to get to is door control. And am I right in seeing that we also do not have sensors? I guess we don't because we don't have... You just tried to oxygen me. Cool. Note that my system repair drones up, but it's not going to repair my damage because you can't do that. But yeah, hopefully we'll get some pretty steady stuff from here. The ship. Ten scrap, we're almost at our goal. But I got a lot of information, including some stores that are all the way up there. Excuse me, completely far away from where I'm trying to go. Aid the civilian ship. Oh, excuse me, I don't mean to burp this much. So, I know I may have mentioned this before, but uh, I've seen a lot of questions lately of people who bought faster and light off the uh, Steam sale. Pretty much asking, well, first off, I shouldn't be auto firing that so much as just waiting for my stuff to work. There, I just took out all the weapons. I took one whole damage. It's alright. Anyway, uh, big question I see from people is how in the world do I do something in this game, such as, say, win. And it's one thing to win on easy. You figure out the basics of the game, eventually you'll get easy. The uh, bigger issue is, well, how do you go from easy to normal? And the number one thing that really helped me get there after watching a few videos of other people playing was I noticed that they target the weapon system. I was always spamming for shields, and maybe that's where I did myself in a little bit last time. See it. Where auto firing is not really working for me very much. Because right now my heavy laser is just getting eaten. Alright. 16 scrap. 
scrap and 10 more scrap from the civilian ship, which means... I know there's some stores right up there. But we're gonna go ahead and use the pike beam instead of the heavy laser. Which, to do that, we're gonna take some power from the med bay. <sighs> okay. We'll see how some of these encounters go about whether we decide to hit a store or just wait. We've been boarded. Sweet. That means destructor bots can activate. Okay, you're going for my med bay first. Oh, goodness. Is my crew going to die? That is a really kind of crappy place to get pulled like that. Because now I have to hope that I can kite all of these guys. I just lost my... fighting in that place if I'd actually turn on the healing. But no, instead, because I didn't, my guy's probably about to die. Oh my god, there's no air in there. Don't die. Don't die. Please don't die. There we go. Kill most of the intruders. Apparently they see the boarding drone as a much bigger risk, as they should. Suddenly I'm not a huge fan of this layout if I'm just trying to protect the uh, pilot seat. But we're gonna have to dump in a bunch of drones. So I don't know if my NG can take this on by himself, but even if he can, he can't. At least my boarding drone can repair after this. So, what upgrade are we getting? Doors. I don't need to say that twice. So, we also need to power our engines. Okay, they don't repair while they're unpowered. But that one has 150 health, so that's good. We have not managed to take any system damage so far. I have no scrap to go to the store, so that makes that a moot point. Let's see if I can not get boarded. I actually want to go to places with ships now. Accept their bribe. They have an iron weapon and a laser. I'm gonna accept that. It's piddling, but the last thing I need to be dealing with right now is zoning shields. I'm gonna have a little more firepower. Like, I can add one there. So, wait for the heavy eye and take out their shields and then pike beam the crap up. And eventually we're going to weave in the heavy laser too. So they can't actually hurt me right now unless they're about to boarding drop me. So this probably means that they have a big old system in here. My ion actually, my ion actually has to hit that. And a bunch of scrap. 
So what do I need to do next with my ship? Uh, I'll probably upgrade our pathetic engines and upgrade our uh, shields. So. 25 for the engine. I still need a little bit for the shield. Now, these aren't manned, so it's not going to do a world of awesome for my dodge chance, but... I wish the exit was a little farther than right, but I'll get enough jumps in. We'll never surrender one of our crew to the slavers, but hopefully you won't missile me either. So it's gonna hurt. Oh, my drone control! No! System repair drone. We don't need oxygen right now. Repair. Okay. Let's see if we can get how many rooms here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they're really going for my drone control. What did the drones ever do to you? Oh, okay. My 15% dodge chance for it pays off. Okay. And we get a rock curve Now the question is, what do I want to do? dude here. I guess it's going to be weapons for now. Is it pathetic to say this is actually the furthest I've ever made it? Oh. No. No, no, no. This is the furthest I've made it with the NGV. I've never actually made it out of Sector 1, as pathetic as that sounds. It's that kind of ship. Okay, see, without sensors, I'm like, well, is it safe? Is there air? Sure, there is. And now there are weapon systems manned. Let's see if we can actually do something useful. I will reject your offer. And hope to God you don't. since dodging isn't going to matter too much against this guy. Not when I'm done ioning him. I don't miss, which I did. And hopefully these don't have impeccable timing. It's like that first shot just gets it. Ugh. Gross. Hit it. There we go. That's all I needed. Unfortunately, the layout of the ship you're never going to do more than four damage. But we'll get this together. They may actually be able to fly out of here. No, it's delayed. They must have gotten their pilot off to repair. So let's finish this. Alright, so see, just a, a little bit more of having your station manned. And manning it reduces charge time. That's what you want. So we got our engines up a little bit next, so I got 20% dodge. It's not great, but it's something. It's only 
to begin its assault, and I'm probably going to get hit again with the beam. Just because it likes me. It'll be a dual laser. It's a dual laser. Alright, system repair. Activate. Okay, we prefer to shut off the dual laser. time by saying, hey, I've never made it out of Sector 1, when I'm still in Sector 1. <sighs> if you can't tell, it starts out a little slow, but I get some fuel, some other stuff. Maybe, just maybe, we can make it to daylight. Starting with this place. See if we can get some jumps before we go there. Like I said, I'll probably sell one system repair drone. I'm actually swimming in fuel for once. Are you really gonna? Are you really about to work on fuel? Okay, so my engines are under attack. Interesting. <sighs> I'd much prefer an anti-ship drone right now, though. But we're gonna go ahead and do what I said, which is sell the system repair guy. And, uh... Yeah, there's not really too much for me to upgrade here other than my shields, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, respond for the call to assist. Prepare for a fight. Prepare to get pooped on by this guy with one big laser. We'll need to see if that's a dual laser first. No, we'll need to see if that's a, uh... Two mantids. We are gonna suffocate. So I just lost my repair drone. So 
let's do a bunch of damage. I'd love to deactivate a missile one day. I can dare to dream. But let's see. It's gonna attack a lot, actually. Why do I have no oxygen? Why did that happen? I don't understand. No, my pilot's probably gonna die. I really don't know what happened there. Why did I lose oxygen? Oh, yeah, I survived. So, who was screaming at the screen going, Oh my god, turn on your oxygen, moron. It wasn't me, that's for sure. Attempt to contact the NG who give me more stuff. And I get another NG crew member. So that's fun. Actually, shields are nice to have, but we're going to put you over here. We're not going to want you to walk through the airless areas. So, that's nice of you, Captain. You just about suffocated your crew. I guess that means I need to give myself some more power here, because there's obviously something that I'm not doing right. Okay, distress button, let's see what you got. Okay, board the station, and it's a dead station. So I have five scrap, that store has got nothing for me. Participate in the study, and I get pocket change. Two missiles, 126, and they're happy to offload some cargo to get faster. Well, that's very polite of you to do that, sirs. Okay, not to have noticed you. Well, you're gonna die. No, you're gonna miss all the crap out of me. See, if I try an eye on the shield, it's still, their missiles are still gonna fire at me. Sucks, but and my pike beam will punch through that shield, so it's probably time I talked a little bit about upping my heavy laser. Okay, repair. It's nice that it prioritizes oxygen, I guess. Study and they're saying we're being held hostage. So where am I being invaded? I need the anti-personnel drone. We'll see if that's a one-shot or two-shot laser. I guess one. That's interesting. Okay, rock guy, go to the med bay. Destroy it. Oh, that's freaking interesting. That my med bay. So, for some reason, my ship just decides to cut off the oxygen supply. I still don't understand what's up with that. It's like I try and activate some things, and it just doesn't care. Sitting back. 
I stop missing me, thank you. No, seriously, stop missing me. I'm gonna blow up in just a second. And you're not gonna like it. So I'm losing oxygen like crazy here. Defense drone mark two. Let's not run into where there's no air. Okay, Caldwell and Lauren. They're pretty good. Okay, so as long as there's some power in this room, my guys will still heal. Even if it's passive. So we gotta wait a long time. Okay, we just got the exit. Alright. I'm gonna do one more power bar here. So at least we can pretend we have two shields. It's nice that I at least have door control. Surrender your goods. I have pirates. They don't want to fight. Well, it's a good thing that I have two. Okay. Stuff here they actually cannot hurt me. So I could sit here and just let somebody level up if I felt like it. But I really don't. Because your FTL is delayed. Look, it got delayed. Good to get drawn parts. I don't want, I hate going to all this green. I just want to give myself more options in case something like the stealth ship comes along. But I'm still at an engine controlled sector. Where I'm gonna to need to do some repairs and sell a defense drone mark too. Ugh. How many times have I taken damage? See, this is where I need to have the heavy laser now, so it's good that I got it. Because I won't be able to take down their shields otherwise. Of course, if I get a missile to the face, it's not going to really matter, is it? Generally, unless the fight gets really nasty, I can survive on most stuff. So what do I want to do for my ship since I saved some of that? 
I want to up my drone control eventually, maybe to five. If I can get a, another good drone in. <laughs> I've got my weapon system maxed out for what I can do now. I guess it's just engines at this point. Cool. Oh, every time with the oxygen. I got. I'm gonna be interested looking back at this replay and saying, "Is it just taking whenever I activate this system repair? Is it just taking it from the oxygen, or am I just being stupid and saying, oh, I don't need oxygen right now?" Hull beam. Ooh, it's gonna be sold. It's not bad at all. How much energy does the whole beam take, actually? It only takes two power, versus the pike beam's two power. Eh. Guess if I want to go for that achievement where I beam the crap out of stuff all at once, but that's just window dressing. Okay, you're gonna get attacked. And I'm at bay again. It's cool, whatever. Rock dude, go there. Engineer, go there. Okay, two minutes, two lasers, and a missile that I can't really dodge very well. That didn't do squat. This one. So, holy crap balls. That's very nice of you. Of course, see, it's like I want to do that, and it just takes out. So my drone control is on fire now. We're just getting out of here. Sometimes you gotta know when just to run, and maybe when just to run, so we're taking a bunch of hits. I probably shouldn't have just said respond. Now I have no drones and no means of repairing them, and I just got boarded. And it was all going so very well. Might as well open up the interrupter. So we got a bunch of missiles coming. Oh, Jesus Christ. You get the hell out of there. Okay, that's gonna hit my engine, isn't it? Oh, it missed. Oh, will I actually get lucky this time and survive? No, because I mistimed this. Rock person's gonna die. There's nothing I can do about it because they're slow. So, crew mismanagement and missiles. I think I know where this run's going. Look, my 
pilot did something. I can now dodge 17% of the time. I have no air. And no means of repair. Let's get you, brave soul, into the drone control. This is not a glorious death. This is a painful, painful. Ugh. I have no air in my ship. And I just lost a crew member. So I think that might be curtains for us no matter what happens. So we survived, and I get three fuel, but how's your health doing? You're holding steady at 21, I'm gonna have to jump and hope for something, a store, okay, that doesn't sell people. Do some repairs. Because I can't really usefully upgrade my. Maybe I could have upgraded. Since I'm at a point now of no return. Let's see here. Whole beam, get out of here. Can I. No, my oxygen is still broken. My drone control is still broken. I have 3% oxygen. Distress beacon. My only hope is getting another crew member. That's my only hope. Search the ship. Nope. Okay, so I have no scrap. Watch there be some person I can buy at this other store. No. Fly, my pretty fly. Okay. Burst laser too, that's nice, that's nice, but... Well, this is... Okay... Avoid provoking the ship. My person's now taking damage. We're just gonna see how many jumps we can do. Before he chokes and suffocates, we're in Sector 4, barely. As I'm just scrambling, trying to find a crew member. Just one to keep this run going. No! It's like, this, this game knows, hey, you need something, let's not give it to you. The stress Beacon. That sometimes has a crew member. Board this... Oh, wait. Board the station. Save the NG. Airlock. Oh, wait. One of your crew violently grabs the NG and throws it into an airlock right before the reactor blows. The LMI blast just slams shut. You have no choice but the more of the sacrifice to move on. So Pomeroy dies. The NG who is saved offers to join your crew. I want you to look at this because I have no crew right now. I have no crew. That should be game over. But Astad. Here. Oh god, my door control's dead too. Okay. Run. Run. Oh, I think I just chose poorly for what I need to repair. Oh, I should have repaired the oxygen, but I think it wouldn't have mattered. Whew, game over! This week. <laughs> so I had a limp to the end. I got a crew member and I should have repaired the oxygen and just ran back to the med bay. But I mismanaged it. Robo Boogie, you will. If that's what I call a good run for the NGB, because that's the furthest I made it, kind of, that tells you what kind of challenge the ship presents. 
where you have a bunch of drones trying to do stuff for you. And I didn't really support my crew as well, but I also got a lot of missiles to the face. So, kind of a dry run, but that's the ball game. See you next time.